In this lesson, we're going to be looking at back references in regular expressions, and we're going to be seeing some examples where they can be useful. Now, in the previous lessons, we've learned about capturing groups, which allows us to group some characters in our pattern. For example, here we have this text that says he owes me $500. Now, you could write a pattern like this, dollars followed by a digit repeated one or more times, and it returns all of these as a match. But then we can also group the digit by surrounding it in parentheses. And now, while the whole $500 is a match you're going to see here that the first group now is 500 but then what if we wanted to remember this 500 maybe to be used later let's say our string is he owes me 500 dollars dollars and 500 what if we wanted to match this 500 here and this 500 here then this is where you can use a back reference. A back reference, you can think of it as a variable in the regex engine, it allows you to keep track of the groups that you have captured. And now in the regex engine, we can keep track of this group and then we can refer to it later on with a backward slash and one. So by doing backward slash and one, basically what is captured here is going to be replaced here. So now I can do something like this, then maybe I can do the wildcard character, put my ass and then I can put slash one and what you can see here now is that it matches dollars 500 which is this part then we have the rest of this which is represented with the wild card and then we have this backward slash one which is going to be replaced with 500 in our case because 500 is the group that was captured here now if I should change this to 600 you're going to see this is no longer a match because 500 is captured in the group and this backward slash one refers to the 500 but this is not 500 here but then if we change this to 600 you can see that becomes a match because the regex engine keeps track of this first match and then this first match can be used later on with backward slash one if it was a case where we have two groups let's say this was also in a group like this then we can also refer to it as backward slash two and backward slash three is going to be for the third group and so on but in our case i just want only one group and this is not the best example for back references so let's look at another example so we have a string here which is full of quotes and back references can be very useful in this instance let's say we wanted to match all the quotes that we have in this sentence or in these paragraphs now what you could do is you could have a single quote that you could have a character class a negated character class where we're going to say match everything except a single quote if you haven't seen the lesson yet on character classes you should definitely check it out then we're going to put asterisk so one or more character that is not a single quote and then we have a single quote at the end here now in this case this matches the first quote that is wrong which is fine now when it comes here it doesn't match i would like to go to john's house because we only specify the single quote so what if we also want to match double quotes we can come here and create the character class where we say single quotes or double quotes and then here we're going to match every character except a single quote and a double quote repeated zero or more times and then it's going to end with single quote or double quotes like this so again single quote or double quote followed by characters that are not single quote or double quotes ending with single quote or double quotes and this is not going to work as you expect for the first string this works fine that is wrong because it starts with a single quote coming from our first character class ends with a single quote coming from the second character class here but then when you go to the second line the driver said that now we match a double quote coming from our first character class and then we match all of these and then what you see is that the match now ends here because in our last character class we have a single quote so this starts from a double quote but then it ends on this single quote from our first character class we match a single quote so how do we tell the regular expression that keep track of this single quote until you come across another single quote and in the case where you match a double quote keep track of that double quote until you see another double quote instead of starting from a double quote and ending with a single quote this is what we can use back references again so what we can do now is that we can put this in a capturing group because back references only work with groups by the way if you are using a non-capturing group you will not be able to use a back reference you can only use back references for groups that you have captured so now when you have this now i can remove all of this so i can say this group 
I remember it's going to be saved in backward slash one. And now instead of using a negated character class here, I can instead just use the wildcard and then this asterisk. So zero or more of any character. And then this is going to end in my back reference. And so in the case that it matches one single quote from this group, then we have one single quote followed by a bunch of other characters followed by another single quote. And in the case that it matches a double quote, then I have double quotes followed by a bunch of other characters followed by another double quote. And from the matches here, you can see it matches. That is wrong. Here we have the first single quote coming from this character class followed by a bunch of other characters, then another single quote. Here we have double quotes from our character class, then a bunch of other characters. You can see it doesn't stop at this single quote because our back reference stores the double quotes that it matches here it gets until it reaches another double quote and here we have single quotes a bunch of other characters it doesn't stop at the double quote it keeps going until it encounters another single quote and then in this case it also matches these double quotes followed by james and then another double quotes now we're doing a white card character and asterisks like this can actually cause some problems because this is called a greedy quantifier and to explain what a greedy quantifier is let's say after this single quote we also have another single quote that says and something else and i put this single quote here what you see is that because this is a greedy quantifier, it means match as much as you can. So what happens here is that it matches this single quote from our character class. Then it matches as much as we can until we get to another single quote. So it doesn't stop at this first single quote that it sees. But because there is still another single quote in front, it keeps going until it stops as the last single quote that it can stop at. And it doesn't even stop here. If I should go to my flags now and put a single line so that dots can match new lines, what you see now is that this literally matched from this point to this point. It didn't stop because as it kept going, it could see that there was another single quote in front of it. So it keeps going until it stops at the last single quote. If I should put a single quote here, you see it even matches up to that point. So this is a greedy quantifier which matches as much as it can. But then if I put a question mark in front of it, now I make this a non-greedy quantifier. So that means it would match the least that it can match which means the first time it encounters this single quote in front it's going to stop so now it matches this then we have our double quotes matching fine we have our single quotes matching up onto this point another single quote here and a double quote here but there's still one thing left we also want to match this whole quote here well i can simply come here and put a back tick and you see the whole quote here is now matched so i hope with this example you can see how beneficial back references can be and one more example back references can also be used for matching repeated characters or repeated words i have this string here my name is john john and i would like some tt please so what if we wanted to match these repetitions I can use a back reference so here i'm going to have my capturing group and in this capturing group i'm going to match a word boundary followed by a word character repeated one or more times if you haven't seen my video yet on word boundaries you should check it out i'll leave a link in the video description so now this matches a word boundary followed by a word so it matches all the words here but then how do we know which of these words are repeated? Remember again, all of these captured groups can be referenced by back references. So now if I should simply do a backward slash S, which is a space. Now you see it matches my space, namespace is space. But then if I should do backward slash one, what you now notice here is we're able to match the repetitions. So in the case of my, my is not followed by space my. So it is not matched. If I should have a space my here you can see it is matched but that is what our regular expression is saying a group followed by space followed by a reference to that group so my is not repeated name is not repeated S is is not repeated john john is repeated the rest of these are not repeated t t is repeated and if i should remove this t now you can see that it is no longer a match now instead of matching john john i could also put this back reference in a look ahead pattern so I can say look ahead for this reference. So what I'm saying here again is this group followed by a space match it only if it is followed by the group again. So in the case of John, John, John space is followed by John. So it is matched. T space is followed by T. So it is matched. 
With back references again, we can reference the group that was already captured and we can look out for that same group. So you can think of this again like a variable in your regular expression pattern. And with these variables, you can use backward slash one, backward slash two, backward slash three, but you can also use named references. And how do you create a named reference? Well, in your group here, you have question mark and then you have this less than and greater than sign. And then you can have the name of your group. So here I can call the name decode. I can reference it by backward slash K and then I have the name which is D code. So this is the name of the group and I can reference it here with backward slash K and the name. So you can either use named references or you can use numbered references. One referring to the first group, two referring to the second group, three referring to the third group and so on. Back reference is a very important feature in regular expressions and depending on the problem you are trying to solve or the pattern you are trying to create, they can be very helpful. And I hope that with these examples I've shown you here, you have been able to see where back references can be useful. I have many more lessons on this simplified regular expressions course. You should definitely check them out. You should see some lessons currently on the screen. Please subscribe, give this video a like and share with others if you enjoyed it.